Hey, it's BGV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Um, uh, you know, I get too sentimental at the start and end of some episodes, but it just needs to happen. Uh, thank you all so much for being on this journey with me so far. This is episode 99. We're about to hit episode 100 in the next episode, where I will have something special prepared. A special episode, if you will. Nothing too crazy. Again, don't expect the, the world or anything, but it's it'll be good. It'll be, I think you guys will... Enjoy it. Uh, anyways, yeah, thank you so much for being uh, with me on this journey, etc., etc., you know, you know, um, sentimental stuff, blah, 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 but really, I mean, I do need to say it. I, I My number one intention is to be real all the time, like honest and, and down to earth and blunt, and uh, can you all stop, Jesus, can you all stop talking? Um, and so when I do, when I do say things like this, trust me that I really do mean them. I, I just, you know, on some level, of course, I do feel the need to say them just because it's just comes with a job of being a Let's Player, a YouTuber, a Twitch streamer, etc. But, um, no, it's something special. It really is to know that uh, I just create these big, long series. And then, you know, throughout the course of time, like people are going to be watching them over and over and over again. I think I just checked. And um, I think you guys have watched at this point in time, a total of like 46 million, I think that's the number. Um, I'll have to correct myself in the comments if I'm incorrect, but 46 million minutes? Um, in fact, can I alt-tab this? I don't think it's going to mess up the recording too much. I want to check right now just to be absolutely sure. It's going to appear like it's frozen on your screen, but that's okay. It actually may mess this up, so this is pretty stupid, but I do want to know... Um, cause I do want to, I do want to say thank you. Yeah. Oh, views, views. Yeah. So you guys have watched or yeah, total of 40, yeah, like 49 million views across my channel. Um, that's crazy. Obviously we're at like 212,000 subscribers. Um, that's awesome. And then the one thing that I wanted to look at was the watch time because, because I do, uh, let's play content. It's insane. It's insane. Like what it turns out to, you know, because it's, they're long videos, obviously. Um, in the last month, in the last th 28 days, you guys have watched 11 million minutes, <laughs> 11 million minutes on, on my channel, just in the last 28 days. Think about that. Jesus. Yeah, and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to brag or anything. I don't have the best channel. I don't have the best numbers or anything like that. So that's not where I'm coming from. It's just it's 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 just always astounding whenever I see those numbers. I don't I'm not I don't concern myself with numbers for the most part, you know, but uh when I do see them, when I do take a look at them, it's uh it really is astounding. So thank you all. Thanks for being with me during that time. Um I it I really do think about it every day. It, it fills my life with honestly just a brightness that I can focus on and that I can like draw happiness from. So thank you guys. Now let's get started, shall we? Join the Mage's Guild. I have joined the Mage's Guild and must acquire recommendations from all of the local guild hall leaders in order to gain access to the Arcane University. We have the Leowin recommendation. I need to find an amulet so that DeGale will send me a recommendation to the Arcane University for me. I think I said send me a to the Arcane. You guys know what I mean. Agata may know more i don't like this quest um this is probably one of if not my least favorite you know the skin grad one was probably the worst but this one i don't like also yes is there something i can help you with associate there is in fact i need actually how do we even know about this i don't think she mentioned well tell me about the seer stone i'm surprised she discussed it with you she wanted to keep it from the others i should speak to her about that Yes, her seer stone is missing. It's the one thing that has kept her visions at bay. And without it, they're nearly crippling. She can't function. We haven't yet spoken to the others, for fear they would be less than accepting of her situation. Perhaps it is time, though. I will continue to tend to DeGale. Can you speak with the other mages and find out if any of them have seen the stone? Sure thing. Now let's quickly run through her dialogue. Once again, all of the mages and like the mages guilds have these same things to talk about. So if you guys want to read them, just pause the screen. Uh, they're, they're largely... Uh, what do you think about necromancy? The mages guild has made more than a few enemies since necromancy was banned. Wow, okay. That's news to me. You may need to ask around. I take care of what little administrative work there is. DeGale isn't interested. 
I do it because it has to be done and no one else wants to do it. So we'll listen to the, I made this mistake in the past, but we'll listen to the ones that are actually relevant to what we're doing. She's led such a troubled life. I just do what I can to make it easier on her. Well, that's nice of you. Okay. She can also recharge Always our Mayroon's razor for a mere 8,000 gold. Ugh. But this one's not too bad. We'll recharge the uh, bow of the dynamo. In fact, we'll probably switch over back to the bow now. You too. Uh, just because it's going to be much easier to utilize its enchantments. Okay, so we need to talk to everybody in the guild. However, there's someone specifically I would like to talk to. And uh, that is Severus Snape. I don't know where he's going to be. He should be in here somewhere, though. It's not saying I need to go through any doors, so maybe we shouldn't talk to Severus Snape. Okay, let's just talk to the other ones. We'll talk to our kin. I suggest you make your way to the Imperial City. Can't make money by standing here. Excuse me? To do what? I'm afraid I don't know anything about it. I heard it was missing, though. Yeah, I think everybody's heard Kaltar it was missing. was talking about it recently. He seemed very agitated about it. Almost happy. Strange, isn't that? That is quite strange. Why would you describe somebody as agitated but also happy? They could, they're they kind of on opposite ends of the spectrum. The Mages Guild has made more... Yeah, I know. I know about the, 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 the necromancy. All of the local guild halls sell... I am the best alchemist in Leowin. But if you need advanced training, you'll need Brach Kavas in Bruma... Or Ardalin in Braville. You know, I'm glad that you actually pointed out people that are better than you. A lot of Khajiit are far too egotistical, so good on you, man. Nice lady, but strange. Talks to herself far more often than one should, in my opinion. Sometimes I wonder why she hasn't just retired and gone someplace to rest. And finally... She's been a great help to all of us in the guild. Without her, I think that Yale would be lost at times. But she's got that horrible voice. I mean, no offense to the voice actress that does that voice, but when it's I, I just it's such an unattractive voice. Um, where is where is Agata? So you guys know what I'm talking about. It's just that really weird, you know that. Oh yeah, you can find a gal if you do that. That was a pretty good impression, I think. Uh, if we see her again, we'll talk to her. This is Severus Snape. This is Kalthar. He's got the weirdest like face in the entire game. He's got shit stains for eyebrows. What do you want? What do you want, you gross man? He likes me though. Look at that. Um, do you know about the Seer Stone? Well, well. Word is finally spreading, is it? They won't be able to keep up this facade much longer. Yeah, I know all about it. I overheard Agata and Dagale talking. And you know what? I'm glad it's gone. Why should we be forced to work under someone who's only kept sane by a magical trinket? Haven't we sacrificed enough already? She shouldn't even be here anymore. Hell, the only reason her father ever fit in anywhere is because he kept a low profile. And look what it got him. What did it get him? Years of service to the Empire, and not even a tombstone over his head. Huh. At least he was able to maintain the illusion of sanity. I know. I get way too fired up over this. It just annoys me that she's in charge of the guild when she's clearly not fit. That's all. I mean, honestly, he raises a good point, just like with, uh... Just like with Jean Frasoric, I think was her name, in Bruma, she's inadequate. Like, why would you have to be under? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I honestly, I mean, he's a total jerk about it, obviously a very angry person. But, uh, yeah, why would you have to be under somebody that literally gets their power from a stone? That seems weird. What, haven't I said enough already? Just let it go. Once someone finally realizes what's going on here, maybe things will change. Maybe call far. Well, the Mages Guild runs more or less. I've heard she was put in charge of the Leowin Guild Hall as a favor, not because she deserved it. That doesn't seem right, does it? Yeah, but do you have proof? She's the one you want to talk to if you actually need something to get done around here. 
I don't even know why DeGale is still around. So do you guys get it? I think it's safe to say that Kalthar doesn't like DeGale. Bye. Bye. And, uh, yeah, he's a very ugly man, so I would imagine that he's just angry pretty much all the time. Now, what did I spy? Really? I need a key for that? Okay. Um, so let's take a look at our quest. Kalthar seems to know a great deal about the missing amulet. I should tell Agata what he has told me. And where is Agata? There she is. So yeah, keep in mind the voice. I just, that voice, oh man, it's it's just not a, uh, not a voice acting voice. Not that she does a bad job, but you know what I mean. It's, so we're going to talk to her and she's like, Kalthar knew about it, huh? Well, you need to look into it and find out more about it. It's like grading. Ugh. Yes? Is there something I can help you with, Associate? You know, that wasn't that bad now that I hear it. My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope the voice actress actually never sees this. I just, I don't know. It's, it's my least favorite voice in Oblivion. It, it absolutely is. So Kalthar overheard us, did he? That explains why he's been so cranky lately. But we never said anything about DeGale's father. How would he know anything about that? If there's some sort of connection between the Seer Stone and DeGale's father, I don't know about it. Maybe if you ask her, it will jog her memory. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on Kalthar. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but my cats are literally slamming on the door. It's most likely Greyjoy. I guess I should just let them in here. I mean, honestly, they're pretty good. I got a cat trap on the right side of my desk. It's just a bed that I put there, so they usually sit there. Um, but I don't know. They do, you know, they're cats, so they do mess up with the uh, they do mess up the keyboard and the mouse and everything like that. It's going to make it harder. If I was using a controller, it wouldn't even be that big of an issue, although they'd probably brush up against the mic and you guys would hear it. There may be a connection to DeGale's father. Have you spoken to her about it? No, but we're going to. There's almost like a southern accent with this Be voice actress. Here. Okay. You seek more from me, child? It is as I have seen. I know what you would ask. You would bring light to that which is in darkness, bring silence to the voices so loud. I know where you must go. Blood ran blue and dragons flew high. Under broken towers and broken bodies, it now lies, waiting to be found. What was my sire's must be mine, if you would have the words you seek. You must go and find his stone. Hello, associate. No quest update? I need to find the word at which DeGale's father was stationed. It should be somewhere near Leowen. Why didn't we... I guess it must have said that at the beginning and I just didn't notice. Okay, so yeah, I don't really like this quest too much. It's not that it's that bad of a quest, I guess. It's just, I don't know, I guess it's a lot of talking back and forth with people and I feel like that's a little lazy. Although, how else would they do that, you know? I understand why they have to have, but I, it's, it's absolutely, I think, my least favorite. I mean, I, I honestly even like the... Um, the zombie quest better the skin grad recommendation but the skin grad and the leowin one are absolutely my uh, least favorites they are not fun for me to do but we need to do them it's a hundred percent playthrough after all so here's the fort i've arrived at fort blue blood degale's father should be buried inside and uh, uh honestly this is i think one oh my god hello okay let's use our bow of the dynamo See how much damage we've got going on at this point in time. I forget what. I think we're using dwarven arrow, uh, dwarven arrows. Yeah, I think so. No, you die, sir. Okay. We need to remember to get any and all soul gems because we do have soul trap on this bow, so it will help us recharge our items. Uh, and let's go ahead and head into Fort Blue Blood. Yeah, I think one of Oblivion's biggest um, biggest shortcomings. Is that uh, it just doesn't let you figure things out. It's kind of... I honestly think... I, I think... I think Skyrim is even better with letting you figure things out. And, and making you figure things out. You know? Like... It just... We just talked to DeGale. And then... Boom! We know exactly where to go. To Fort Blue Blood. You know? I, I feel like it would be better if they just did the thing where it's like... Check her office for maybe more clues ab about what she was talking about and then boom we find like you know a uh, notebook or whatever and it, that's been done a million times but it's better than just hearing her vague ramblings and just oh knowing immediately 
to head to this place. You know, and I feel like Oblivion does that a lot, but honestly, all the Elder Scrolls do that. But Morrowind, I think, was a little too far on the other side of the spectrum. Where parts of it was unfun because it was so hard to figure out where to go. But, I don't know. They just need to find a happy medium. And honestly, everybody talks about how dumbed down Skyrim is and everything like that. But I think they're too harsh. I think Skyrim um, did a great job of sort of finding a better balance. It is too easy. Yes. Absolutely it is. I see a trap over there. Um, yes, of course. It, it is too easy without a doubt. But at the same time, I think it's I think it's got some of the best balance in terms of uh, I don't know just um, figuring out where to go and well but yeah but again some of the quests are just boring I don't know it's hard they've all got their strengths that's why whenever somebody asks me what's your favorite Elder Scrolls I don't give them a straight answer because well actually no I can. I think, honestly, it probably is Skyrim at this point in time. But it's because of the practicality aspect. You know, I, I love things about Oblivion. I love things about Morrowind. I love things about uh, Skyrim. But um, Skyrim, you can just jump into and play. This has always been sort of my opinion. And you don't really need to. Morrowind's kind of tricky to play and kind of tricky to figure out where you need to go. And tricky to get a hold of the mechanics just because it is a little bit dated. Oblivion, like I've always said, has some of the best quests, if not the best quests. And uh, Skyrim's just easily accessible, and that's what I like about it. That's why, I, that's why I like Fallout 4 as well. You can just jump into it and play because it's modernized, you know? And that's not always a bad thing. A lot of people just always think that that's a bad thing. A lot of people make the mistake of just going into that area where new equals bad. And, you know, that's a sign of being jaded and... Uh, a sign of cynicism, which is also a sign of intelligence. But also, just don't you sh don't shoot yourself in the foot on everything just because something's new. You know what I mean? Okay, those are just opinions that uh, I see all the time, and I'm talking about because we have to go through this boring dungeon and try to get to the end with all of these high-level people here, which have almost all Daedric armor, but we're still killing them in one hit, which is insane. Ooh, it's rare that someone's able to see me. Consider yourself lucky. Okay. Let's keep a move on, shall we? Let's take all these arrows. Thank you very much. Yeah, and obviously we're missing out. Okay, we'll take the daggers. Yeah, shoot, my bad. I should have been looting those people. Um, We're just seeing a lot. We're not going to be really wanting for... No, but that's Dardavesh's goal. Yeah. So we'll, we'll take the small stuff Um, just because, again... If we start taking all the curuses, they they weigh like 50 each. We're going to be able to take, uh, you know, just a, just a few. And then we're going to be full up here. So, we'll try to take the, the, the good stuff, the daggers. And I should have been doing that. And I do apologize. Okay. More dudes. Let's try to go for the... Eh, well, he's got Daedric. This guy's got... I don't know what type of... That's that's Yeah, that's orcish. Okay, down he goes. Man, and I call myself an archer? Okay. Stand still for me, pal, will ya? Let's try to get a headshot. Ooh! Right in the eyes. Another thing that I think Oblivion um, definitely could have improved on... Is, um, make critical spots. Why not, right? I mean, I guess because it just... I mean, but... Fort Blue Blood Key. Interesting. Yeah, I guess it's because, you know, they don't want you to be crazy OP. Okay. I guess this person's not interested in a breakdancing sword. Look at this thing. I love it when it does that. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I guess they just don't want people to be crazy OP. Because if you're a sneak archer, obviously it's the most OP build in, like, any of the games, really. But, um, yeah, so if you added critical spots to, like, the head, it would just, you'd one-shot everybody, I suppose. But, honestly, if you want to do that, go for it, right? I never really got the, uh, got the idea, like, oh, man, I'm super OP in a single-player game with literally zero online capabilities outside of mods. Like, if you want to be that, there's always going to be ways to do that. So just give me critical spots where if I hit them in the head, you know, it, it, it does more damage why if i hit them in the, in the straight up in the eyeballs with an arrow why does it deal the same amount of damage as if i hit them in the thigh i just never liked that but i get why they did it i suppose okay we've got an ogre here sorry if you guys like shrek but he needs to die 
Okay. That's his gray cousin, Breck. Uh, we've got somebody else in here. Oh, it's the Will of the Wisp. Okay. I was wondering what that... Yeah, we, we just haven't seen a Will of the Wisp in a long, long, long time. And why are these two things down here? That's kind of odd. Okay, we've got a tomb. A bone in there. Dead Marauder. Okay, here's our ogre. Thank you very much. We'll take his ogre teeth as well. They're valued at quite a lot here. Nothing in that coffin. Where are the other bones? You know, why are there just two bones? Or why are there just, you know, like one bone in, in these things? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Thank you very much. And I'm going to go ahead and go into sneak here. Here we have Manduin's coffin with Manduin's amulet. I have found the amulet to Gale need it. I should return it to her immediately. But something tells me it's not going to be that easy, which I guess is a is a is a spoiler, which a lot of people always get mad at. Look, uh, uh, just stop right there, all right? I can't let you leave with that amulet. I need it right now. Why do you want the amulet? I took the other one, and that should have been enough. I shouldn't have to go through all this just to get rid of her. It's not even as if I was going to keep it forever. I was going to give it back to her once I'd gotten what I wanted. That's not so wrong, is it? It is. Just think about what you just said. Once she helped me advance out of that place and step down, then she could have it back. Why did you have to get in the way? Why are you trying to ruin everything? Because I need to for my recommendation. Don't attack Am me. Oh. Impressed? You're going to die, man. You're really low level, I think, honestly. Like, look at look at Kalthar's skeleton guard. I mean, it's cool that you can summon that, I suppose. But uh, at this point in time, like, I'm kind of like a god, you know what I mean? I'm wearing this Morag Tong armor. Morag Tong, Morag Tong. What, 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 do you know, by the way, what it is? I mean, honestly, I don't know what it is. Like, I've, I've been racking my brain, and I just can't come to a conclusion. How about you, skeleton? Do you know? I don't know, huh? Maybe we could figure it out if we work together. Oh, you're attacking me? Oh, well, shoot! Don't do that. Hold on, let me let me get the perfect shot. Okay, looks like you're a twofer. See you later, alligator. I've defeated Kalthar, who was attempting to manipulate DeGale. I need to give it. I need to give her this information immediately. A less rude song, Galerion the Mystic, Kalthar's key, ninety-four gold. Okay, so Kalthar was behind it the whole time. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, I don't like this quest because it's pretty standard, you know. Find the amulet in the dungeon. Oh, and you get betrayed. It's just, yeah. And you can't leave, by the way, until you kill Kal uh, Kalthar because obviously you need his key to get out of here. To skedaddle. Uh, there's probably going to be more marauders that we have not killed, I would imagine. But we're going to run our little butts out of here as quickly as possible. Oh, look, there's the shortcut. What is this, Dark Souls? I think I've said that multiple times. But really, it is one of my favorite things about Dark Souls because, see, this is, you know, Oblivion is such a massive undertaking that when they make a shortcut, it's kind of just got to use the assets, right? It's just got to use whatever, you know, a part of the dungeon crafting system they've made where, okay, we're going to put a gate here and a lever behind it. But in Dark Souls, what's really cool is like, well, no, you know, that's not so true. Honestly, there's a lot of copy and pasted shortcuts as well. But I think for any Dark Souls players, you guys know what I'm talking about when you do see a shortcut, you, you get a very big sense of, yes! But it's mostly due to the game design, where it's really gonna, you know, cut down on the backtracking. So, yeah, I don't know. I just really, I do really enjoy finding shortcuts in Dark Souls and in Bloodborne. Okay, we need to find Gale. I don't know where she's gonna be. That's why this, uh, I hate Leia Wynn's Mage's Guild 2, is because all the doors are on the same vertical plane. So, you never know, like, where people are gonna be in. You know, you kind of just gotta figure it out. Because they could be on, they could be at this wing, they could be in the second wing. Nothing has changed, child. The voices still cry out, and I am unable to hear. If they can be sealed away, our work may begin. Yeah, I got your thing. Found it, have you? Silenced the hands that betrayed and took what was mine? Then let me have the stones so that the voices can be shut out. Excuse me? Ah, oh, child, I thank you for helping me. With the voices quieted for now, the words you seek have come to me. 
You shall have my recommendation. Though I must warn you, I've seen things in your future. Things which may be, and things which will be. It will be up to you to decide the fate of many. Life and death are strange things, easily manipulated, and both will be altered by your hands. Yeah, well, I'm the player character, so no shit. I don't know what Archmage Traven has against necromancy, but the first... Good day. Good day. Yeah, I don't know. Does anybody like that quest? If you do, let me know in the comment section below. I think you're kind of weird if you do, but, you know, no judgments other than the one that I just literally gave. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know what it is about this. I don't like Leowin. I don't like the color scheme of Leowin. It's all dreary and yellow and green. I hate those colors. Yellow and green. Yeah, especially yellow. Is there anybody with their favorite? I, <laughs> let's ostracize everybody in the comment section. I'm trying to be humorous more than ostracizing, if that wasn't clear. But uh, yellow, I think inherently, honestly, is the worst color. I mean, <laughs> I know it's subjective, so it's silly to even say something like that, but... Cat, cat, can you stop? I see his little paw under the door. It's probably Greyjoy. Jeez Louise. I just let me record, kitty. Um, yeah, I, I honestly... I uh, That is honestly how I feel, though, for real. I think yellow is uh, just inherently the worst color. I don't like green either. Blue's my favorite color, and I think it's statistically most people's favorite color. Uh, red's cool. Not as cool as blue. Purple's cool. Um, orange I don't really like as well, but it's okay. But yeah, yellow is just so ugly. Uh, it is, I don't know. I just... I really detest it. So here's Breville. Bravo. Hello, Hello there, associate. You're here for a recommendation, I presume. Are you prepared to earn it? What do I... What, what do I have to do? I'm afraid I haven't had time to prepare anything conventional. I'm very preoccupied with this situation concerning Ardalin. Perhaps you can help with that, however. I can't directly get involved for fear of embarrassing the poor girl. I'll need you to have a little chat with Varen Vamori, and you can learn something about the power of illusion in the process. Okay, who is this Varen Vamori? I don't understand it. Some ridiculous male thing, I suppose. He's been bothering Ardeline every day for a while now. He even stole her mage's staff. Not her mage's Perhaps staff. Perhaps he thinks it's amusing. I don't know. But it needs to stop. It's making her miserable. Okay. Um, tell me more about this mage's staff. It's more symbolic than practical, but each carries great significance to its owner. You're going to get Arteline's staff back. Take this charm scroll. With it, you should find Varon more receptive to questioning. Don't come back without that staff. Sure thing. Now, we got a lot of things to run through. You have what you need to help him talk. I admit, it's not standard guild procedure, but I do anything for one of my girls. Okay, Kudai. Uh, wait, wait, any rumors at all? The Mages Guild runs more or less. Yeah. Okay, uh, recommendation? If you want it, you'll need to persuade Varan Vamori using whatever means necessary to return that staff. Even... even murder? Mage's Guild. Each local guild hall. Right. Mage's Staff. Varon Vamori should give it... Yep. Braville. I take my duties as chapter head very seriously. Unlike some guild mages. It infuriates me how casual some guild heads are about common civility. I know, right? I've actually come into contact with some of these that you're talking about. And I have to do say... I, I do have to say, I really uh, do appreciate your decorum. Don't say anything to her. I don't want to embarrass her further. Once this is all taken care of, I'll speak to her privately. And finally... The Council of Mages meet... If okay. If you do what you need to, you'll get there one... Thank you, Kudai. Okay, ladies and gents. Make sure Varen hands over that staff. Well, as you know, this is episode 99, which means the next episode is episode 100. Uh, we're going to be doing a special episode at this point in time, like I said. I still need to make sure everything uh, works out in the way that I want it to, but it should be what I'm thinking it will be. I know that's cryptic, uh, but it will be up Friday. 
So if you guys want to see the special episode, definitely uh, look out for that. 10 a.m. Mountain Time. A lot of people ask me what the schedule it is. Uh, schedule is. It's been the same for a very long time. Uh, I upload. Let's 100% the eldest. Uh, let's 100% the. Oh, let's talk to the Night Mother while we're here. Um, yes, I upload. Let's 100% the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, which is 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific Time, 11 a.m. Central Time, and noon Easter Time. Interesting. There's no, like, Snowhawk. There's no Snowhawk in um, in Skyrim, is there? I don't remember that term, and I've explored literally every single location, some of, most of them multiple times. Yeah, I don't think, I, I don't remember Snowhawk at all. Anyways, ladies and gents, yes, I upload uh, Oblivion every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 p.m., or sorry, 10 a.m. Mountain Time. And then uh, The Witcher every Tuesday and Thursday at the same time. So, that will be up on Friday, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you there. Bye-bye.